Hello, hi, interwebs. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today is, well, it's the weekend. Let's put it that way. I'm not sure when this is actually going to get posted up. It should have gone up on Friday, but uh, it's going to be late. Anywho, welcome to another Adventures in the LFR. Uh, we are doing, what is this flesh thingy? Uh, the third ring of the throne of, uh, throne of thunder, which is the halls of flesh shaping. And, uh, the giant eyeball guy. Um, there's a lot going on. Um, I'm going to speed it up and kind of go go th go through it a little bit. But um, I would, I didn't do a lot of research to do this one again either. I figured uh, why why break with tradition? Let's just jump in there and uh, see how well I do or don't do. And um, there just seems to be a lot of stuff going on uh, in this particular fight. Um, there's crap on the ground, and as we all know, I like to stand in the crap on the ground, so I was trying to avoid the little purple po uh, pools. Then, it seemed like there was a, like a life link type of situation. Uh, the boss targeted, targeted people, and they got this beam on them, and I'm assuming it's bad to cross the streams like in Ghostbusters. Um, so people were running around and um, trying to avoid each other, and I... I I got killed by that black smoke, and that's when I usually bring you guys a cinematic, but I figured I'd uh, show you take two of, uh, of the fight, which I actually lived, <laughs> and uh, we uh, downed this boss. There's a, a maze, they're calling it a maze uh, in the uh, raid chat, there's a, a maze of smoke, and um, uh, I was trying to follow somebody, but basically I could kind of see the path. I wasn't paying attention to the path in the first attempt. And this, this thing, this smoke, uh, wiped half the raid uh, the first time we tried this. So I'm assuming, I, 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 I'm, I am assuming, uh, that it's safe to assume, that I wasn't the only one who didn't know about the uh, maze of smoke. Because it killed a lot of people. So on this attempt, um, less people died. Uh, me being one of those people, because I did die the first time. Uh, and I almost died this time too. I was trying to find a safe spot to stand and still DPS the boss and, uh, and the, the pattern of the maze is pretty chaotic. So um, avoiding the beams, staying out of puzzle, puddles, and then uh, I didn't really realize it until uh, the, the things were almost dead, but there are, there, there are uh, ads that pop up uh, inside of the beams that, uh, that target players. So it's a don't stand in the beams and ads come out of the beams and if you cross the beams I'm not really sure what happens and beams are crossing right now and n nobody's dying so I I'm not exactly sure what the beams are doing but I'm trying not to get hit by the beams and stand in purple puddles and um, thankfully uh, really like think the LFR God that there's only one uh, phase where that uh, purple ma uh, maze pops up because uh, you know, I made it through there once, but uh, I don't know if I had if I had to do it twice in uh, in one one boss. I don't know if I had made it. Then this guy looked pretty cool, uh, Primordius, and um, it's it is truly just basically like a tank and spank. Uh, the the tank is uh, uh, supposed to kite the boss around the room, and I learned this afterwards. Uh, this whole fight. Um, with these little slimes coming up to the boss, I was assuming that when the slimes hit the boss, something bad happens, uh, but nobody was saying kill the slimes. Um, but when the slimes died, you know, pe people started turning into little lizard men versions of, of this boss. And since nobody was complaining about it in the raid chat, I figured maybe it was just it was part of the mechanic. It was supposed to happen. That's what I was assuming. And, uh, we're just going to go, I was like, I'm just going to go with that assumption. No, I was, I was thinking it was kind of like the, uh, you know, Professor Putricide uh, event in uh, that uh, stupid Citadel that I spent way too much time in, but I can't remember the name of. And, uh, but they were, you know, we were, people were killing the slimes, uh, so, you know, I, I was cleaving, and I think it, I did eventually turn into a little lizard man, which um, I found out later on was the, the, the plan. So it really is just a tank and, tank and spank, uh, cut the boss around the room, uh, kill the slimes, turn into a lizard, and kill the boss. So, 
that's how it was going. Uh, it seemed pretty easy. I, I, I was waiting for the other shoe to drop, but that's basically in the entire fight. Um, it's just chasing the boss around the room, DPSing him, and uh, making sure you turn yourself into a lizard. Beware. And um, we got the boss down, and I didn't get loot, any loot on this boss. At least I thought I didn't think I did, but it turns out I actually ended up getting an, uh, an offset belt. Not that that helps me at all, but because I don't tank really pretty much at any time. But I digress. Now next we move into the room with uh, a bunch of constructs. So the boss on this uh, particular fight is called the uh, Dark Animus. And um, I was trying to DPS what other people were DPSing. It looked like a huge clusterfuck. Nobody really was talking about uh, what was going on or what we're supposed to be doing nothing going on in raid chats, um, some people AoEing, some people not AoEing, so uh, I was trying to follow the, follow the tank and attack where he was attacking, and of course there's there's fire on the floor, people, fire on the floor, so what, what am I going to do? Yeah, I'm going to just stand in it, fire on the floor, oh my goodness, so yeah, I died. Uh, I didn't know that these things set the fire on the floor around him, and I was as I was chasing him, I stood in the fire. Um, this is actually uh, like a B res situation. We wiped on that first attempt, so uh, we came back in, and I forgot to hit the fraps button, so we kind of pick it up at the actual boss portion, which seemed to take just a long time. It took a long time to get the constructs down, which is like the first phase. You kill all the ads. Once the ads are done, you get on the boss. So it's you know it, it, it's your basic. Uh, adds boss type of thing. So once all the constructs are killed, um, the boss can, you know, the boss actually comes out during that uh, construct phase. So that uh, it's somebody pulls a uh, tank pulls the boss off to the side. You finish killing off all of the uh, constructs, and then you get on the boss. And then the boss is basically a tank and spank, and he has this big shock wave of crap on the floor. And I was I was figuring to myself, you know, that looks like something you have to run away from. And, you know, I was like, oh, I'll just take one, and we'll see what it does. Everybody, so there's some other people standing in it, so I, I, think, I think maybe I could take it on the chin and, and live. So, I took one, it didn't kill me, so I figured the, the he either it really is not doing that much damage, or the healers are really on top of it, so uh, I decided just to take it to the face, and uh, burn the boss down with everybody else, and it seemed to be the tactic most other people were uh, doing, because nobody ran away from that EOE. Uh, which I'm sure, yeah, in a perfect world, a perfect non LFR world, you should probably run away from that. And the uh, healers would appreciate it, even if it doesn't do a lot of damage. But I'm the guy that stands in fire, so um, not really doing anybody, even myself, a lot of favors uh, most times with these things. So uh, I just stood there and uh, killed the boss, and eventually he goes down. And I didn't get anything from this guy either, which was disappointing because, you know, I died twice during this LFR so and uh, thanks for stopping by the channel peace out enjoy the rest of your week don't forget to subscribe and oh yeah I got a, a, a nice little combat pet this week during uh, one of the other LFRs I was in little crackhead chicken <laughs>